After 40 years of awards starting all the way back in 1984, the VMAs have surely had some moments that are not leaving the collective unconscious for a while. Let's look at some of MTV VMA's most unforgettable moments of all time. That time Madonna, Christina Aguilera, and Britney Spears smooched on stage. The 2003 VMAs featured one of the most talked about moments in pop culture history when Madonna touched lips with both Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera on stage. <laughs> The performance was a tribute to Madonna's 1984 Like a Virgin act, with Britney and Christina dressed as brides, reminiscent of Madonna's original look. As they sang her track Hollywood, Madonna dressed as a groom unexpectedly smooched Britney, followed by Christina. The camera cut to Justin Timberlake's reaction, adding to the buzz since he had recently split from Britney at the time. The moment became an iconic part of VMA's history, highlighting Madonna's ability to push boundaries even two decades after her first VMAs. Kanye West's Interjection Taylor Swift's first ever VMA win was marred by Kanye West's abrupt and unexpected interruption, which will go down as one of the most memorable moments in VMA history. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. Ye stormed onto the stage and snatched the microphone out of the singer's hands as she was winning the award for best video by a female artist for her song, You Belong With Me. I'm really happy for you, I'ma let you finish, but Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. Swift was stunned when West made the announcement. The two artists engaged in a years-long dispute as a result of the occasion, which also gave rise to numerous memes. Kanye addressed the issue in 2020, claiming that he interrupted Swift's speech because God had instructed him to do so. Lady Gaga's outfit that dripped with red. In a dramatic performance of paparazzi, Lady Gaga seemed to be dripping red liquid from her upper abdomen. The performer, who was wearing a white wig, white thigh-high boots, and a white two-piece suit, seemed unfazed by the mess and subsequently admitted that the startling image was planned. Lady Gaga's meat outfit. Lady Gaga made yet another daring declaration the next year. She was dressed entirely of raw Argentine beef as she approached the stage to accept her Best Video of the Year award for the smash song Bad Romance. She then disclosed that it was a reference to her speech in which she criticized America's discriminatory don't ask, don't tell policy on certain persons enlisting in the military, saying that equality is the prime rib of America. Beyonce confirms her pregnancy. Beyonce announced her pregnancy with Blue Ivy on the VMA stage in addition to giving a fantastic rendition of Love on Top. She sang the 2011 hit song flawlessly before turning to the camera, taking off her glittery purple blazer and just rubbing her tiny baby belly. Miley Cyrus and Robin Thicke. Fans were treated to a completely unexpected performance of Robin Thicke's mega-hit song, Blurred Lines, by Miley Cyrus and Thicke. Cyrus performed an intriguing dance around the stage while Thicke delivered the words. Parent organizations strongly objected to the dance routine performed by Miley Cyrus. She later responded to the criticism saying, I don't pay attention to the negative because I've seen this play out so many times. How many times have we seen this play out in pop music? Madonna's done it, Britney's done it, every VMA performance, that's what you're looking for. You're wanting to make history, she added at the time. Justin Bieber's emotional break on stage. After performing What Do You Mean, Justin Bieber sobbed on stage while the audience gave him a raucous applause. Well, I'm okay. Wow. I just wasn't expecting them to support me in the way that they did, Bieber told Jimmy Fallon of the moment in 2015. Last time I was at an award show, I was booed. Stepping into situations, you just can't help but feel judged. I was just feeling judged and wanting to win so badly and just wanting to do what I love so badly that I just put everything on the line, he continued. That's what's so special about the emotional moment at the end, he said. It was authentic. It was real. I was really just wanting it so bad. Diana Ross is playing around with Lil' Kim. Diana Ross accepted the 1999 Best Hip Hop Video Award for the Beastie Boys on stage with other performers Mary J. Blige and Lil' Kim. After giving Blige a quick hug, Ross turned to face Lil' Kim. Notably, Lil' Kim was dressed entirely in purple with her left upper torso uncovered, albeit she was using a purple pasty to maintain modesty. Ross stuck out a hand to give her a lighthearted squeeze. I'm not sure what my thoughts on that are to be honest. Rage Against the Machine's protest. 
Rage Against the Machine's protest at the 2000 VMAs is one of the most memorable moments in the award show's history. The band, known for their charged music, found themselves in an unexpected situation when Limp Bizkit won the Best Rock Video Award for Break Stuff, beating out Rage Against the Machine's Sleep Now in the Fire. As Limp Bizkit took the stage to accept the award, Rage Against the Machine's bassist, Tim Comerford, decided to stage an impromptu protest. Clearly unhappy with the outcome, Comerford climbed a towering part of the stage set, hanging precariously while the show continued. The stunt caused a scene, with security trying to coax him down, while the audience watched in a mix of confusion and amusement. Fred Durst, Limp Bizkit's frontman, can be heard saying, Stage dive, dude, amidst the confusion. Comerford's protest wasn't just a spur-of-the-moment tantrum. It was a reflection of the band's broader disdain for the mainstream music industry and what they saw as a lack of authenticity in certain genres. The incident ended with Comerford being forcibly removed by security and subsequently arrested, spending the night in jail. The protest became a symbol of Rage Against the Machine's rebellious spirit, but it also coincided with rising discussions within the band. Just weeks after the VMAs, frontman Zac De La Roca announced his departure from the group. Group, citing differences in the band's direction. This led to the disbandment of Rage Against the Machine for several years, although they later reunited. Comerford later expressed regret over the incident, but it remains a defining moment of the VMAs, exemplifying the show's unpredictable nature. What do you guys think of our list? Let us know in the comments, and we hope you have a great day. Peace out.